Hello, hello! <laughs> yes, it's ring time again. I just thought this was a really fun, cute craft for summer. It's a ring made from stone. Yep, this is a stone that we found on the beach last summer, so it's a really lovely keepsake, and we've turned it into a super cute and easy strawberry. The glue is still drying a little bit, but here we go. Let's take a look and see how it's made. So today I'm going to use these pens called Posca pens, they're really great, they paint on anything, uh, they're not cheap but they're really lovely colours. Um, if you don't have those pens, totally understand it, I've done stones before, I used these as pendants and obviously we'll show in the eye cards how to make these, I used acrylic paints or enamel paints. So again, as always, have a look at what you've got at home and explore and see what works and doesn't work. So I'm going to pick this stone I think, these are all stones that I picked up from the beach, so if you're out and about this summer, um, do have a look at what you can find. I know that this is not something that you'll readily have. <laughs> so this is all about summer keepsakes. And then I'm just going to take my pen and start off with my um, green detail. This is going to be my strawberry. So I want to have, I want to first do the little green leaves of the strawberry. Now you do want to let them dry a little bit before moving on to the next colour as you don't want them running into each other. So I'm going to slowly start the red and go up and hopefully by the time I get to the green it's fully dry. Okay, now this is dry, I'm going to take some black, just make sure that it's uh, coming out thinly, and I'm just going to put some outlines to my uh, leaves. I'm also going to take my yellow for some seeds, make sure ooh, it's coming out nice and clean, or just coming out. I've got some fuzzy bits on here, let's get that clean. And finally, we want to draw our little kawaii faces because I can't resist them. So I'm just going to quickly give it a little practice. I think that will do. Whereabouts do I want it? Should we have it here? And here? A little smile. I'm going to let that dry and then add the tiny, tiny last bit to finish off. Okay, now the very last little details. I've got a nice pink. This is actually a fatter pen, not as fine as the others. So I'm just going to carefully put the two dots there. Practice if you've got fatter pens or fatter brushes first. And then the very little bit, very teeny weeny one. That's so cute. <laughs> Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to add some varnish. Um, you don't have to if you're using enamel paints, they're quite sort of shiny anyway. But um, I think it just gives it a really nice finish. So once it's fully dry, this is just some old Fimo varnish I've got. Uh, I'm sure you could use clear nail varnish. Um, and just basically give it one little layer so it's nice and shiny. So cute. Okay, now I want to turn this into a ring. Now, usually I've been using uh, these kind of ring clasps, which you can obviously buy, and I'll put links down below. But I wanted to show you an alternative method, because I know not everybody has those. Um, and this works quite well also on these pendants, and I really, really love the, the, doing that. Now, I used it on this pendant, and on here is this really thick wire, or sort of medium-sized wire, I can't find it. So I've got this thinner gold wire, and I'm going to just measure it, or oh, I've already, you can see I've wrapped it around my fingers a couple of times, and I'm just gonna create um, like a little ring that fits my hand. Now the thing is, if you do this method, you won't be able to adjust your ring um, once it's done. Uh, if you use this, obviously this is an adjustable size ring, but if you're making it to fit your finger, then I think using some a thin wire like this is great. Yeah, make sure it's all nicely tucked in. You don't want anything poking out because it will hurt your finger. Then you cut out a piece of felt. And the reason I use felt is because it's quite porous. Um, and hopefully it will soak up lots of glue, but also there'll be enough glue to stick to my strawberry. 
and I'm just going to stick it down. I take my ring. Flatten it a little bit, so you want this edge a bit straight. So flatten this this edge, and I'm going to just glue on. Just want to double check first that it still fits my finger. No point finishing all this and then it doesn't fit. And then I'm going to just take some strong PVA glue. I've got Gemtac here, but on these ones I literally use PVA glue. So really good Elmer's glue should do the trick. Um, and uh, you know, if you're trying to, if you want to do this as part of a group project, you could prepare the rings, for example, in advance. You know, putting the glue on the back. And then on the event itself, um, people just decorate the stones. Put it all together. Press it down. Make sure it's all neatly in place. And then you let it dry. So we'll come back to that again once it's fully dry and we'll take a look. And here we are. Now it's still not fully dry, but as it's drying, I just gave it a little squeeze and see a bit of glue coming out, but it just means it's nice and secure and flattened. And then you can just pop it on your finger carefully and you have your own stone ring. Now remember, this goes really well with these stone pendants that we made a while ago and I think it's just really fun and fabulous. So as always, like, comment, subscribe and we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.